Hello again, and welcome back to Garage Science. This time, I'll be reviewing the Autodesk Magenta Resin originally created for the Ember 3D printer. The printer I use is a DLP printer, and I had little to no issues printing with this resin. As a quick side note, you can no longer purchase Autodesk resin from Autodesk because they aren't producing it anymore. There are a couple of sites that still sell the resin under the Autodesk name due to residual inventory. If you want to purchase this resin, you can go to Colorado Polymer Solutions which is the company that Autodesk turned over the resin formulation to. I've linked to this website in the video description. From their site, you can get a variety of resin colors and special application resins as well. That being said, what I cover in this review can be taken with a grain of salt because it is certainly possible this resin formulation has changed somewhat since the resin formulation went under the control of Colorado Polymer Solutions. I didn't get a chance to perform material property analysis on this resin, such as viscosity and strength, but I do intend to do that in future resin reviews. I did reach out to Colorado Polymers and they provided me the material strength data sheets for the resin. I was satisfied with the performance of this resin. I was able to get very detailed parts as well as high resolution parts that push the printing capabilities of my DLP printer. Several of the parts I printed were started with the assumption the print would fail. However, to my surprise, some of my more detailed prints came out looking amazing. Other desktop SLA printers such as the Formlab printers shown an effective printing resolution of 150 microns on the XY axis for features only a few layers tall. This diamond matrix was printed with a freestanding crossmember features at 250 microns. I would have no doubt this resin will print at whatever resolution your printer runs at. I printed a number of items at the maximum and minimum XY resolutions for my DLP printer. The results were better than I expected and I was very pleased with the results. Curing times were significantly higher than what I have experienced with other resins such as Maker Juice or Fun To Do. This is a higher quality resin, so this is no surprise. Using an Acer projector without a color wheel and output of 3000 lumens, you can expect cure times between 15 to 30 seconds with 50 micron layer heights. Cure times vary of course depending on the XY resolution setting. The longer cure times are actually what motivated me to remove the hot mirror and replace it with a UV pass filter to allow more UV light from the halogen lamp to exit the projector. With this modification, my curing times have been closer to 3 to 13 seconds, of course, again, depending on the XY resolution and layer heights. The odor of this resin is very low and it is VOC free. It is more viscous than fun to do resin and the pigment takes a much longer time to settle which is most likely due to the increased viscosity. If you were to print in a colder room, i.e. a basement, with a printer that doesn't have a heated vat, you will probably have higher separation forces that could affect your prints. This resin is competitively priced at $120 per liter and seems to be a happy medium between fun to do and Forum Labs resins. You'll notice that the color is much darker than magenta. I don't really know why that is, the first few prints I made were originally dark and became brighter during post curing. However, by the time I got to the bottom of the bottle, all the prints were coming out dark. I contacted Colorado Polymers about this issue and was not returned an answer. Basically, if you're looking to get detailed parts and don't care too much about the color, this resin will work very well for you. However, if you must have magenta colored parts, don't buy this resin, you're probably going to be disappointed. Well that's my review. Let me know in the comments what you thought or anything you want me to cover in future reviews. Remember to subscribe and share with your friends and as always, thanks for watching and happy printing.